sorry. It is Hi. Friday, not Thursday. Uh, I, oops, out of laziness, did not record a podcast earlier. I could have. We we both could have. I think. I don't know Maybe. about you, Walsinger, actually, but um, I. Yeah. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. God, what else do you want from Please. me? Please. I didn't mean it. Come on. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I buy it. We're Stay here now. Me. Uh, one day late. We usually upload these on Thursdays at 6, for anyone who doesn't know. Um, at 6 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, that is. So, um, yeah. yeah. Next week, we'll be on time. Don't worry <clears throat> about it. Uh, the reason yeah. why I sort of didn't do it and I, why I've been lazy is because... I just finished filming my, um, or I just wrapped filming my, uh, my, uh, thesis film for film school. Damn. And I'm almost done. I, 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 like, I have a couple weeks left, and then I'm, I'm graduated as a director and screenwriter. Nice. From Icelandic film school. That's uh, good, because, yeah. um, I got this uh, movie idea. It's <laughs> yeah. It's like this. A uh, little cat, and he, he wants to be a banker. Yeah. <gasps> Weekend and, at uh, Bernie's. Bernie Sanders is there. Yes. Bernie Madoff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how? Bernie Madoff. More like Bernie Madoff with all your money. Oh! Th press the like button if you get my reference. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to press the dislike button because I don't get the reference. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Shit. Um, yeah, so I kind of want to talk for, I, I, I'll probably talk a long time about this because there was a lot of issues I had with filming and I want to, I want to try and mm. talk about as much of them as I can. Um, so Dang. last week was pretty frantic because I was just like, I, I, I produced this, this thesis film completely on my own. It's a film yep. about a uh, about a farmer who accidentally kills his son and goes through the five stages of grief to sort of oh my. Uh, come to terms with the fact that it was an accident. He didn't mean to do mm -hmm. it. Um, and so I've been producing this completely on my own. Luckily, my parents have a farm and a tractor and all that stuff that I could use for like the the setting. Uh, the mm -hmm. costumes, like all that stuff. So a lot of the production was really easy actually, but like some of it was still really yeah. just like confusing and I didn't know if I was doing it wrong or not. Um, then finally, mm -hmm. uh, like a day before filming, you know, everything was, everything was uh, looking all right. It was Wednesday yeah. and I went to the school with my director of photography, and I met up with some of my other crew, my, my sound guy, my uh, assistant camera, yeah. uh, my assistant director. We all like was, were looking over like the technical stuff that we needed, like the camera and everything. We were just like making sure everything was there and it was working before, yeah. we, went to, uh, before we went to go film, because I was filming at my ho home uh, and we were staying there for four days. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's like a two-hour drive, and we were not driving like back and forth, of course. Yeah. Uh, and so we went there, or uh, we went to pick up our shit. Which, by the way, <laughs> first fucking <coughs> major issue. Uh, it's not that major, but like we were, we were so fucking annoyed by this. We were, we went to the school, to this thing called Taikalegan or the mm -hmm. uh, equipment. Um, Loan, I get, or like, I don't know what it's what what it would translate to, but it's like, it's yeah. like this area where they have all the equipment for the school, and you go there, you meet with this guy, uh, these two technicians that like hand you the stuff that you're supposed to have for your film, and they're supposed to like help you with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Except they <laughs> were sitting in like an off room, playing Counter Strike while we were Whoa. doing all the work. <laughs> When we, oh, we on multiple oh. occasions walked in there, we were like, hey, can you help us? And he was just like, dude, why the fuck are you planting the bomb there? And he was like, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 dude, were you asking for me? Like, yes, dude, do your fucking job. You're literally working here. 
Uh, but instead, you're wasting like our time because you need to play Counter Strike at work. Are you fucking kidding me? Just gotta get them kills, man. Come on. Come yeah, on. It, 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 it was so fucking annoying. He kept like coming out, helping us for a little bit, and then leaving again to go play Counter Strike. Uh, mm. So so much. Yeah, but thankfully we got all the stuff we needed. It all looked all right. Uh, we did. The one issue we had with our equipment was, uh, well, two things. Mm -hmm. There was a tripod that we wanted. It's yeah. a tripod that can be lowered pretty far down to the ground. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> it's so, like, nice having that instead of a, uh, like, a handheld sh shoulder rig, because the camera is heavy and that hurts your shoulder. So we wanted that. We yeah. wanted one that could, like, spread the legs pretty fucking far so that it can be lowered even more nice. but they didn't have one and then they just told us like oh this one's better and so we we're like oh okay hmm. and then there was a light we wanted called a blondina or that's what everyone kept calling it i don't know what the fuck oh, if dude. that's what it's called in english as well but it's hmm. this really bright light it's a two kilowatt fucking light really Damn. bright and uh the blondina is like pretty compact and uh it's pretty compact and it fucking just yeah it's the that's the i guess it's that's compact. the best thing about it it's compact it's small fits in your pocket it's, it's small it, no it does not fit in your pocket but it's it's a small wow. one uh okay. somebody else was using that one and so oh. we were giving a, a given another 2K uh, 2KW light, which was really fucking big and heavy and annoying mm. to like fucking walk around with. You could say the Blondino was light. <laughs> anyway, oh. uh, the <laughs> we we had Sing. this giant fucking light that was just like the, the size of I don't even know like a small crate basically. I'm like. <laughs> I'm like an American, like Just measuring me. something. It was the si this this boulder is the size of a, a big rock. <laughs> no, this light was the size of twelve Big Macs. <laughs> twelve football fields, but that light was pretty fucking like <clears throat> big, and so it took up a lot of space. And we we brought that with with us on. Uh, Wednesday to like take everything that we owned and then we were just like all mm -hmm. right and we'll go back tomorrow to pick up uh, some stuff that somebody was gonna <laughs> lend us for Thursday before we we go so we had like a deal with these two students one of them was gonna lend us his mist machine to like uh, mm -hmm. shoot some smoke around and then another one was gonna lend us his gimbal like a Ronin gimbal that like can be calibrated Can to control the camera with like a remote basically with your phone or whatever um interesting yeah and it makes it super steady as well um mm. uh, 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 uh thursday rolls around first issue i go to school to pick up some yeah. of this stuff and the guy who has the mist machine isn't there yet and says he'll be like right there and i was like oh okay and so i'm just like so, waiting uh, you could say that you uh you missed him <laughs> oh! and so <laughs> the <laughs> the so that guy was like a little late and i was like oh, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever uh i called my runner to ask him uh if he could pick up like a thing for me because i completely forgot to buy this colored spray for like mm. your hair and beard because my main actor who's this like old i think he's 55 years old maybe he's this old man oh, who was gonna who has like a big white or like grayish beard and he was gonna yeah. color it brown for one scene where he's supposed to be like younger it's like a flashback scene and oh. so i ask for this um I asked for this spray can and I asked the runner if he can pick it up and he goes well, I can pick it up and bring it to you but I, I got some bad news and I'm like what and he goes yeah so I'm supposed to be working today and tomorrow 
Sorry, hmm. I didn't know that. So like, I completely lost my runner <laughs> for the first two days. Um, and a runner is someone who, I mean, we didn't really need him. A runner is someone who mm. usually just like drives around and picks stuff up for you uh, while you're yeah. on set. So he would have picked up just like um, the food that we needed, or he would have picked up, uh, for instance, on Friday. He actually did help us on Friday because he told mm. me that he wasn't working until like 5 p.m. And so I was just like, okay, yeah. so it'd be great if you could at least r arrive on Friday with our actor because one of our actor was supposed to show up then and then bring like the the coloring spray and stuff with you that day because we are not using it until Saturday so you're free to go now but if you could buy that coloring mm -hmm. spray and bring the actor and our food on Friday that'd be great and he was like okay so I just gave him the day off um nice All then right. the fucking mist machine guy shows up like 30 minutes later, he said he was almost there and he fucking shows up like 30 minutes later after the phone call, brings me the mish machine, mish, mish machine. And, mish then, mish machine. and then also, oh yeah, I forgot to say that the day prior, we also find out that we can actually have the Blondina from someone else. So like the group that was using it was done using it. They were wrapping it up in the evening. And so they asked us if we wanted it. And I was like, hell yeah, fuck yeah, give it to me. Please, yes, and so we. We pick it up also on Thursday morning and leave the other giant light and then we go uh, to my farm. We just start driving. There was no is other issues. Uh, so we just like start driving home. Head on over to the farm. Yes. Yeah. The and we, ma and we make it all the way to Selfos, this like small town. It was like a 40 minute mm -hmm. drive from Reykjavik. When I get a phone call from Mr. CSGO, who fucking <laughs> yells at me because we had a combo stand, which is a pretty uh, sturdy and like stable stand that was supposed yeah. to be specifically for that giant light. And I didn't know oh. that. And so he was oh. like angry that we took it with us. He's like, are you kidding <laughs> me guys? We need that other stand. You gotta Bro. bring it tomorrow or else. And I was just like, all right, I'll make my runner bring it to you. And I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> and I was like, maybe if you weren't playing fucking CSGO and you'd been paying attention, you could have asked me where the stand is, you numpty. <laughs> Wait, so did you take the big light with you? No, 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 we what? did not take that. We left the big light and took the blondina, but we also took like the big lights fucking combo stand that's like specific oh, for, for that it. land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Which they I have see. specifically for that light, apparently. I didn't know that. Yeah, I thought that we guy. could use that, uh, but we. Yeah. That guy should have been paying attention. Exactly. If he was doing his job, we wouldn't have taken it. But anyway, uh, another right. thing that happened actually, uh, so on the Wednesday, while we were taking our stuff, I opened the door out. And they have like dogs in there. They have one like uh, hot dog, like one of those like long <laughs> fucking uh, furry dogs. And then they have one chihuahua. Chihuahuas, yeah. uh, they're both really loud. They keep barking at people, but the chihuahua seems to be like fine inside. He just stays there. <laughs> the other guy tr tries escaping a bunch, but I completely yeah. forgot he was there. I also <laughs> completely forgot that I was at a doggy fucking daycare. Like what? <laughs> And so I like I open the door outside and I go to like to my car to reverse it closer to the door so that we can like uh, haul a bunch of the stuff from inside into my car into the trunk of my car. Yeah. And while I'm like reversing, I see the guy, the fucking CS:GO maestro, run outside and he like yells at me like, "Dude, you gotta watch the door!" And then he like runs mm -hmm. off and I'm like, "What? What happened?" And then apparently the dog like. <laughs> just like left while I was like backing up Bro. and I didn't notice it and it's just like maybe don't have a dog daycare where people have to come pick up the fucking equipment yeah. like what why why do you have like dogs here and why aren't you watching yeah. them why are you playing CSGO also, you know, <laughs> why not at least put the dog that's always trying to escape in like a little yeah. Like a cage. Put know. him in a cage or put him in your CSGO room and close the door, which they did after he escaped. They like took him and then locked themselves in the room. And I was like, okay, cool. Awesome. SMH. <laughs> it's so Big stupid. Guns. It's so dumb. Uh, 
So that day goes pretty well. We, we make it home, we start setting everything up, we start filming, everyone is great, the actors are great, everyone mm -hmm. is just like, it's, it's going pretty well. Um, later in the day I find out from my AC, she's like, well, we're, we're eating our, uh, we're eating dinner together and she just like looks at me and goes, oh my God, my sister, or is it like she gets off the phone and comes to me and says, my sister has like uh, some condition and she's at the hospital and I have to go like babysit her kids. And oh. so I was just like, oh, okay, uh, all right, that's fine. Uh, yeah, go babysit her kids. And she was like, thank you so much. And then she left. That was my assistant mm -hmm. camera that I had for the first two days. Yeah. Um, I think she said her sister has like stemma or something like that, S-T-E-M-E. -E. I don't, what? I don't, I don't know, what I don't know what that is. Let's see. Never heard of that. Hmm. I think that's what she said. Nope, that's something completely different. I don't know what she, I don't fucking remember. She just said that she had a condition and so she was in the hospital. She um, had a thing. Yeah, she had a seizure or something. Fuck, awful, awful. Oh. And I was just like, oh my God, okay, please uh, drive safe and uh, and like, yeah, good luck. Mm -hmm. She goes, next day rolls around, we wake up. I'm coughing a little bit. My 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 script supervisor is like sucking through his nose a little bit. I'm just like, oh, we're we getting sick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no worries there. We, we went through the day without an AC. And it still went pretty well because our light guy nice. was was a pretty good like uh, like we our light guy was just like helping him with our camera guy with all the camera needs he needed because uh, we didn't really need too many lights while we were outside. Mm -hmm. um, That's good. And then I I only had a light guy and a sound guy for the first two days of filming. They leave uh -huh. after that day, and then I also get a message from my. AC that was supposed to show up for the weekend, my assistant camera, telling yeah. me, hey, um, my girlfriend got COVID and I might be getting sick, so I can't make it. And I'm just like, are no fucking way. Are you kidding me? And so I just tell him like, oh man, okay, uh, it's no problem. Feel better soon. And he was like, thank you. And I was just like, motherfucker, <laughs> are you joking me? Like what? Oh. And so I completely lost my assistant camera for the rest of the shoots. And I, I'm like frantically sending people at school like messages asking like, hey, are you available to come at the weekend at all and like help me and some shit? And everyone was like, no, sorry, I'm, I'm not available. And then thankfully, a good friend mm -hmm. of ours was able to show up on the Sunday at least, which was better than nothing. So I was like, fuck yeah, please show up. He's, he's a great technician as well. So we mm -hmm. got at least nice. someone for the Sunday. Good. Uh, <laughs> But um, yeah, that f Friday ends, I lose my sound guy, my light guy, and um, the, I mean, the runner didn't show up anyway. He did show up in the morning to like bring me my actor, the hairspray mm -hmm. and the fucking, uh, the food that we needed that day. And he also took away the, uh, the stand that we needed to return for the light. And then he was just the gone. Crazy stand. The crazy stand. And also, by the way, the food that we had was immaculate. My brother was cooking the first day, uh, on uh, mm. Thursday. First day, Thursday. He was cooking yeah. us some uh, chicken fajitas. They were really good. They were also really spicy. We were all just like <laughs> fucking, we were leaking. We were just like, oh my God. <laughs> it's like so spicy. Sweat. Yeah. And he also, uh, I told him that we probably were going to eat like two each, but he made like these giant fucking fajitas that like people only ate like one of each, even me. Oh, like I usually damn. eat two of them, but these were so big and so much food on them that I was only able to eat like one. And then I started another, but I couldn't finish it. I was just like, holy <laughs> shit, this is so much. And it's so this spicy. Is How did you do this? <laughs> How did Where you do are you this? getting all these ingredients? <laughs> but he made some really good food for us the first day. That was really nice of him. Uh, second day, we got food from this gas station restaurant in time uh, in town that gave us mm -hmm. like free food oh there was an issue with that place i had called them like some weeks ago and they were just like all right so you need free food all right uh, wh what day are you thinking about and i was like oh, i'm thinking either tuesday or friday and i was like okay all right i'll, I'll write that down and he, he just like wrote something down apparently and then mm -hmm. 
on Monday last week, I went and actually met the guy who owns the place, and he was like, all right, I've set you up for Thursday. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I thought, like, I, we hadn't decided. I was either one. I was going to, like, ask you if it's okay on Friday. And he was like, oh, damn. Well, I had, like, <laughs> I had, like, written down that you were coming on Friday. And I was like, well, we're not going to start filming until, like, uh, or we're not going to be here until like four on Friday and you're like expecting us there at like 12 or 1 p.m. And she so was like, oh yeah, all right. Okay, well, we'll see if we can move it to fr uh, Friday. But you were supposed to have like chicken from our um, like chicken. buffet basically, like there, yeah. Chicken so, from buffet? Yeah, we were supposed to have like a buffet uh, meal f from them, some chicken on, on Thursday. But instead, oh, we had like yeah. really nice pork and like mm -hmm. basically like Christmas food on the uh, on the Friday, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my god, this is amazing!" So we got really good food instead. I don't know what the chicken nice. was gonna be like from like a gas station place, but the fucking oh my god, like this Christmas like pork and potatoes and sauce and everything it was <laughs> mwah, it was delicious. Uh, Saturday rolls around. There's only four of us. Because, like, everyone else is left. So it's just me. Yeah. It's my DOP, or director of photography, my my, uh, my camera guy. Um, it is the uh, script supervisor uh, who mm -hmm. I had to ask to be my sound guy for the weekend because nobody else could make it. So he was the sound guy. And then it was my assistant director who I also had to ask to do that and help with script supervising and help with, like, light stuff. <laughs> So it was just like a four-man army trying to make a movie. It went pretty fucking well, actually. But we're still like... Um, we would have been so behind if we had done everything that we were planning to do. But thankfully, mm -hmm. a lot, like, I was set to record, I think, like 68 slates throughout the whole weekend. Throughout the, mm -hmm. the whole filming process. We only filmed like 48 we cut out 20 slates from the film and it worked out pretty well now uh slates uh what are those just so you know <laughs> slates everybody. are the uh slates are basically like every single shot that you take so you mm -hmm. say you're recording like a, a person and you mm -hmm. usually set up a shot for that and then as long as you're not moving to another location with the camera or something you can move the yeah. camera of course you can like if you're handheld you can like move with the subject but as long as you're always filming from that like if you're filming the next shot and then doing like pretty much the same movements and everything then that's one yeah. slate until you move on to the next shot where you're just like okay we're gonna move the camera mm -hmm. over here now and then bam that's the next slate. Every time the camera moves a location or something like that, mm -hmm. say you're filming a character from the front and then you want like an over the shoulder from uh, yeah. for the next shot, that would be two slates. That would be like the first slate from the front, mm -hmm. second slate yeah. from the back. I see. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I, I was just talking about that, like everyone knew what that is. Sorry. Yeah, just, you know, <laughs> to let everyone, everyone's gotta be on the same page. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay? yeah, everyone's gotta be on the same script page. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, Page 48. But, <clears throat> yeah, like I said, the Saturday went pretty pretty fine, even though there were four of us. And also, the Saturday was the scariest day because I wake up, my nose is completely stuffed, there's like slime at the back of my throat, and I'm just like, oh my god. And then my oh. script supervisor, who's going to be my sound guy, is also just like, he's got a banging headache, he can barely breathe, he's coughing a lot, and we were just like, oh no, we got sick. Oh. Uh, and so we're just like talking about like at the, in the morning before we start filming we're like are we gonna be able to film today or do we have to like do we have to like move back these two days for later and we're talking we're thinking about it because we we really we, we, we were so fucking sick and then mm -hmm. uh, the actor our main actor shows up onto set and we're telling him like oh we're a little sick like how available are you 
and he goes, well, I'm going to Italy until the 25th of May. And so like, oh. <laughs> and I'm just like, no, 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 please. Uh, please, we have to film this now. We oh. cannot fucking, we Man. cannot move the dates at all because I would have completely lost my actor and I would have also not been able to film the rest of the film. We have, we have yeah. until the 27th of May to finish editing it. So I would have huh. not been able to do anything. Yeah, you would have missed. Yeah, I would have completely missed it. So we were just like, fuck it, let's just pull through this day. I mean, I was, like I said, I just had a stuffy nose and a bit of like phlegm at the back of my throat. My other, my fucking script supervisor and sound guy was dying and I felt so bad for oh. him, but we both pulled through. And then at the end of the day, we played like fucking Mario Kart, Mario Party. We were just like playing games because we managed to actually finish pretty early. And so we're just chilling. Uh, last day rolls around our... Um, oh, I also had a runner for the weekend. It was my cousin who decided to help out. I, I asked him if he was available and he was like, hell yeah. And so I had my cousin helping out. Um, uh, mm -hmm. We did make one mistake. He, he he brought us the food for Saturday, which by the way, we got some nice pizzas from a pizza place in like my hometown. All of the food that we got uh, from like these restaurants was free, by the way. They were just like giving it to us as a, uh, as like support for the film. So it was really nice. I'm, I'm really That's thankful wonderful. to these places. Um, but my cousin went and picked up these pizzas for me. And then he, uh, Oh, and he also didn't know what being a runner entails. It means you literally do what the fucking director tells you. Even mm -hmm. because, because I was like, all right, can you tell everyone downstairs to come up and like uh, eat food? And he was just like, you do it. And I was like, bro, you're my runner. You're supposed to do it. What the fuck? And he was like, oh, you're being serious? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god, dude, go fucking go bring everyone upstairs, you fool. <laughs> Runner, runners usually just like do whatever the fucking director tells them to go do. Except, if, of course, of uh, except of course, if you're like, oh, go kill yourself, they don't do that. <laughs> um, the, uh, but for the sat for the Sunday, I mean, our runner didn't really have to show up because we. We only had two scenes left to film for that day. And mm -hmm. so we're just like, all right, fuck it. We, we don't need a runner. We're going to be able to finish this in like five hours, which I think we did. Like five hours was all we filmed for. And then we just like mm -hmm. wrapped the day, wrapped the f shooting. Um, and so I like I told him to not uh, show up that day. But then I <laughs> realized like, shit, my fucking other actor that I have, the... the the young one that's supposed to that's mm -hmm. playing like the son of the farmer, he doesn't have a car, and so we had to like drive him on set. And then after we were done shooting on Sunday with like the help of my amazing uh, that amazing guy that was able to come and help us as like the AC and sound or light guy, he he showed up that day, and uh. <laughs> like I was just like oh my god we were we were all wrapping up we were all like taking all the stuff that we could into our cars while yeah. the actor was just sitting there and watching us because he he oh. didn't have a ride he didn't have a, he had to oh. go with one of us luckily at the end of that day we also had some food planned it was this um, hamburger or it's not really a hamburger place per se but it's, there is a really nice restaurant in our hometown called Valhalla that has mm -hmm. delicious fucking hamburgers. And I asked for some hamburgers for my crew, but then nobody was able to go except me, my camera guy, my script supervisor and AD, my assistant director. And so it was just like, fuck it, let's just go and everyone else can leave. So our friend, the uh, AC, he took the, mm -hmm. he took the actor with him, the, the, the one playing the son. Nice. Uh, so that all like worked out in the end and I was so happy and then we got some fucking mouth-watering hamburgers that's that's like a wonderful way to uh, wrap up uh, yeah wrap the shoot. film or you know um, and it was film, it yeah. was a lot of fun I'm so glad that I was able to do this because like a week and a half ago maybe two weeks ago I was mm -hmm. so scared I wasn't gonna be able to do this I was I was like legitimately I was just like I was so depressed because I thought there were like I didn't have my crew. I had 
some mm. of them, but I didn't have everyone. And I just like I felt like that this movie wasn't gonna get made. Uh, but then it did, and I've been editing. There's some stuff that's not perfect, but I'm just like I don't care because this mm-hmm. should be, the, it is enough for me to be able to edit something out of it and graduate with my friends from school. And so I'm so happy that I'm able that's to do nice. that. Yeah. Graduation. Wonderful. I'm graduating on the fourth of uh, June. It's like the last day of school. <laughs> or the yeah, the graduation day. For the June, everybody mark it down. We are yeah, all every, gonna everyone's gonna come and join me. <laughs> everyone's gonna come and show up. I mean, that's not when they're showing our movies though. I thought we would like show our movies and then just like graduate, but no, no, no. We're showing our like my film is being shown on the second of June. And so the f- 4th of June is just like its own separate graduation day, I guess. Uh, my parents are gonna have to like drive back and forth to Reykjavik just to fucking come see my film and then also see me graduate. <laughs> it's weird. I don't know why the school does that, but all right. It's got some yeah. weird employees and shit as well, so <laughs> I guess I should have expected less. <laughs> um, or as expected as much. Uh, there were some other small tidbits that happened while filming. Um, for instance, mm-hmm. my camera guy kept getting harassed by cows. One time we were filming a shot and he was like sort of sitting in front of where they were eating. And there was a cow that like, cows sometimes do this where they're eating their hay and they just like start like shaking it around because there's something they don't like. And so they start like kind of digging basically. It's like they're digging further down. And so this cow where he was sitting in front of did that it like shook a bunch of hay into the air and it went all over him while he was sitting with the camera and he just goes oh my god <laughs> and i was like uh yeah sorry um i'll i'll move that or i'll stand in front of that cow so it doesn't do that again <laughs> he was so he was so annoyed by that and then on the last day when we were we were filming with like the ac and everyone uh, we were all standing sort of together in a group inside the the cow stables or like where or this barn basically where all the cows are and these yeah. these young calves start like or one of them starts like running in circles inside his pen just like having mm. the time of his life <laughs> and he kicks up some shit from the oh. pen that flies directly onto the camera guy and only the camera guy is the only one that fucking gets like shot with shit nobody else got hit by it and he was also standing sort of like behind everyone and so i'm so surprised that it hit him it hit him on the pants nowhere else it but he was like wearing gray sweatpants and so it was like really (laughs) visible that he was wearing like pants with shit on them And then everyone turned around and said, Oh my god! Oh my god, you shit yourself, you shit yourself! No, no, no! Okay, okay, there was like a little cow (laughs) running around in circles. It wasn't me, it wasn't me! He was disgusted, by the way. I don't don't think he really liked being inside the barn and stuff like that, because he's like, he's from, I had a DOP from America, or like, he's in the school, but he's... Mm -hmm. Uh, he's got family in both the U.S. and and Iceland, and he he lived oh. and grew up in the in America, and then he moved to Iceland last year to go to film school. So he's in a second semester helping me out. He's a super good DOP, but he just like he hated I think being inside like this gross ass barn because he's probably <laughs> a, a, a homegrown city boy basically and then he just like goes to a farm and gets shit on (laughs) come down to the farm get shit on ya get shit on ya he's the only one that had that happen i thought it was so funny we also had cows trying to like eat our equipment if we put any of our equipment anywhere close to where or not cows the uh the like young cows the calves Whenever we mm-hmm. put our equipment like next to their fence, they kept trying to like reach through and fucking bite our equipment. <laughs> we're like, no, stop, go away. And, there was, well, and they were all scared of us. They would all run except one. There was one that kept looking at us and we called him the leader. <laughs> one brave soldier. The one brave soldier that like did we, not fucking move when we were telling him to. We shall not be oppressed this is our this is my barn barn. oh yeah oh there was also a thing that happened we went to sleep on saturday 
And then on Sunday, when we were setting up, we, we walk into the barn because we're filming there first and we just open the door and one of the, we had left some equipment in the barn because we were just like, it, it, it should be fine in here. Like the cows don't go out or anything. A cow went mm -hmm. out. A, a oh. random calf somehow got out <laughs> of the fucking upper pen. I was just like standing there when we opened the door staring at us. Uh, sure turns down. out she somehow got like under the fence uh that she was inside of so we were just like what the fuck man thankfully she didn't like ruin any of the equipment so we were that was at least that <laughs> that would have been awful the school would have probably <laughs> fucking made us pay for it if uh if anything got damaged but nothing mm. got damaged um so cow captain chewing any wires swallow any nope. batteries Nothing nobody like yeah no no batteries were swallowed no wires were, were bitten um there was one cow cool. in one scene. I'm not going to put it in the movie, but I have a scene <laughs> or I have a, <laughs> I have a shot of a cow that like we were filming uh, sort of like close ups of the cows uh, as our main character, the farmer, walks mm -hmm. past. And this is during the because my movie's going to have chapters based on the five stages of grief. And one of them is anger or wrath. And he goes, <sighs> he, he yells at them. and He goes, I hate you. And then he walks past. And one, I took a, I took one, I took two variations of that uh, slate, mm -hmm. um, or like I took one slate and then I took a safety, is what it's called when you, when like one of them is good enough, and so you're just like, all right, let's do a safety to make sure that like we have two good ones, you know. And so mm -hmm. we <laughs> we recorded the safety, but we didn't notice that there was a cow that like at the start stuck its fucking leg out through the, <laughs> the fucking like. Um, uh bars like these metal bars that they're eating through and so it's oh. like leg is just sticking out randomly and like looks super <laughs> fucking silly and i'm just like nope i'm not putting that in the movie <laughs> <laughs> so we only have one take of this thankfully we had a good take and the safety is only if like the other one does mess up which it didn't so i'm like oh my good. god thank god we did however have one thing that I don't know how good it's going to look in the movie. I had like a kid from mm -hmm. a neighbor's farm. Uh, like my neighbor was like uh, willing to let us have his have his child for one scene <laughs> for one hour yeah. to be like the young son, basically for a flashback. And he kept staring directly into the camera. We were trying to tell him like, oh, don't look at the camera. But he would look so often into the camera. I think I only have one good take of that where he's not doing it. And we were filming pretty, we, we were kind of behind on time. And we were also trying to hurry because like he was not supposed to be there longer than an hour. It did bleed over an hour, but it's like, I think it was fine. Um, <laughs> poor, <laughs> the poor kid was staring right into the camera. I'm going to have to fucking goddamn rookie. Cut him out of the movie, no. <laughs> Don't look at that damn lens. God what the damn. fuck is your problem? Cut, You're ruining cut. my movie. Cut. Listen. I should have Stanley kubrick him. Another take. <laughs> Sir, it's been Another 120 one. takes. Another one. <laughs> cut. This is Steven Spielberg. We yeah. don't want to fucking piss him off. He's right here, right next to me. <laughs> there he is, right there. <laughs> um, But yeah, like I said, like... I don't care if how many fucking shots we got wrong or whatever. Because I got everything. It should be enough to make something to be able to graduate. Because I want to get yes. out of this school. I don't recommend going to film school. At least not this one that I went to. It fucking, it's too expensive. And it's like, our school feels so unprofessional. Like some of the teachers are just god awful. The fucking guys at the, at the equipment storage are just like playing CSGO uh, during work <laughs> hours. And Damn. nobody really helps you. I All of the help that I got was from one teacher who I felt mm -hmm. like she didn't really do much other than push me to like keep going. Like, cause I was ready to give up, but she kept like telling me like, all right, how, how are you doing? How are, like, are you, have you, have you talked to people? Like she kept telling me to keep going. And so like, at least mm -hmm. there was help in that. But I went to like a meeting with like three teachers uh, together, basically. It was the, or not yeah. three teachers, but like three staff <laughs> from the school. It was the, I think the vice principal, 
It was the, uh, like, it was like the overseer of all the like um, the, 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 the 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 studies and stuff like that, like different studies. And then it was one of the guys from the technical like storage, basically the equipment storage. And they were mm-hmm. they were supposed to help me find a crew for my film. They did nothing. Yeah. They did literally oh. nothing. They told me to basically do it myself. And I was like, oh great, awesome, thank you. I like getting help. What? So, oh, fuck, man. yeah, it was awful. It was fucking, it was god awful. Fuck this school. I'm so excited to be gone, and I'm so excited to move out of this apartment as well. <laughs> I'm excited to be gone from here. Um, I'm going back home to the farm to uh, f- f- go to work this summer and mm-hmm. also hopefully save up some money to move out of home because I've been living with my parents for way too long. I guess that's my story on on uh, how filming went yes. for my last my last film for film school, and hopefully I go on to make films outside of film school. Well, we'll see. We'll mm-hmm. see if I can get the the help and the money for that, and later on in life, because uh, I would so, love to. I would love to. Is there anything you wanna know about? I think I'll save it for uh, next time. Yeah. Oh, the Generally Speaking Podcast. <laughs> Dude, true. I really gotta go to the bathroom. I like. I'm, I am pooping out of my butthole right now. All right. So. I gotta. I gotta finish the outro song. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Bye, everyone.